Today, we're going to go ahead and play Red Dead 2 with the RTX 4090. And to start it off, we're going to be playing the game at 440p at the max settings. Let's go into graphics. Here we are at 440p and with the ultra preset. There we go. There's no TAA, but I think it looks better without it anyway, because TAA makes things look a lot softer than what they are normally. All right, let's jump into the game and see what we can get. It's my first time playing Red Dead 2 with this GPU. I know this game is very intensive overall, even on a 3080, for example, can fall below 60 FPS at those max settings, but 4090 should do a fantastic job. It's kind of exciting though. This game looks fantastic still. Came out in 2019, I think on Steam, but the game released in 2018, I think. Could be wrong, but well, I might be right at the same time. I don't know. All right, here we go. Would you look at that? 143 FPS. GPU is fully maxed out. VRAM is sitting at six gigs. We have plenty left over with this GPU, obviously. It's all these games from like 2019, 2018, even 2020, to be honest, that have really nice optimization with the VRAM. I think I want to go ahead and skip time and go to daytime instead. So we can see the lighting and all the reflections, the sun rays coming in. Making it look fantastic. I've set a waypoint. Let's go there now. Hopefully our horsey will have energy until we get there. If he doesn't, then we'll walk there, I guess. I don't know. Man, look at the sky. That looks gorgeous. VRAM is climbing up to 6.5 gigs now. Almost 6.6. .6. And we're pulling 330 watts on the GPU. This card is so efficient, to be honest. Like, it's been fully utilized right here. But still only pulling 330 to 350. I think it can pull up to 600 if I'm not wrong, which is kind of overkill for this card. It gets power limited way before that. And our CPU is sitting at 41% as well. So decent usage to be honest. But you have games like Hogwarts Legacy where they use up like 30% at most. I think when it came out, it was using up 20% of a 12 core CPU, which is pretty awful, especially since that game is very CPU bottlenecked. What is happening over here? Where's my gun? What do you think you're doing? Put your hands up, donkey. Oh, hello. I didn't see you back here. Wait, I can help this guy, right? What's up, dude? I saved your life. You gonna pay me now? True, you make a fantastic point, actually. Let's smash it. Just like that. I can't believe that this game, I guess it didn't get as much support as GTA 5. It makes sense, obviously, has less players, but, but I don't know, this game has a, a great base, a great starting point. And they never... I guess went with it. But apparently though, we are getting Red Dead 1 Remastered, which would be amazing because on PC, it doesn't exist. It's only on PS3 and Xbox 360. It's not gonna be as good as this game, obviously. I think it came out 2010, maybe 2011, I think. But obviously it's a sequel story-wise to this game. All right, here we go. Look at this. Daytime now. You know, I did say I wasn't a big fan of TAA, but even at 440p, you do need some TAA to be honest. The trees, the hair, Looks kind of weird. Definitely need some anti-listing for that, for sure. But 4K, though, should be fine without it. So let's go ahead and pause the game now. Go up to 4K. Run it back again. And here we are playing the game at 4K. The game's not V-Syncing, is it? They might have enabled V-Sync by itself, but like 81 FPS still is kind of whack. Yeah, it's disabled. I'm going to go in full screen just in case. There we go, 93 FPS. The game was bugging out in borderless mode. Insanely good. FPS at 90 up to 120. It's incredible. VRAM is now sitting at almost 9 gigs instead of 6.6, .6, I think. So a bit of a climb, but still, for a game playing at 4K, the max settings using 8 gigs is not too bad. You see, like, Warzone 2 or MW2 at the max settings there. I think that uses up, like, 17 gigs, maybe 20 at most, which is actually insane because the game doesn't look that much better at extreme versus playing at ultra or even high. But the ocean is there, I guess. We're getting a bunch of flickering past the trees. Hope you guys can see that. Look at the water here. Oh my god. This looks incredible. All right, we've got a bounty on our hands. Is that him right there? Is he my target? Do I have my lasso? I do. Okay, how deep is this water? Mr. Horse, can you take... All right, rest in peace, Mr. Horse. No, he's fine. He's chilling. Look at him. Look at him go. Come on, swim. You got this, right? There we go. It's getting worried for a second there, dude. All right, 80 FPS is the lowest so far. But, you know, with a 4090, 
you have plenty of headroom anyway. So even in an intensive situation, you should be above 60. And if you want more, you have DLSS that you can use. But for a card like this, you should be fine. That's literally him up there. I see him. All right, we're going on foot. Is that a frog? Dead frog, and now my frog. All right, here we go. What are you? What's up, dude? You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir. Are you sure? Huh. You sound like him. Kind of look like him. Yeah, and look like him too. I was told he'd be up here. Hmm. Buddy. Uh, do we pull him? Oh no, I dropped him. Whoops. He is in a better place now. Look at him go. Later, buddy. Yeah, I guess we can go try to save him. Let's try and save him. Why not? Dude, the lighting looks incredible. And the sun, the shadows. Oh my god. It looks... It looks fantastic, man. The game's like four years old, but it looks brand new still. Come on, horsey. You got this, right? Yeah, there we go. You got it. Just stop crying. I'll be there in a second. Don't worry about it. That doesn't sound good. I can't catch him. He's too quick. Might be scripted though. I don't know. Right, Lasso, here we go. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Just like that. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Look at him come. <laughs> Dude, his face is getting scraped into the mud. So yeah, that's Red Dead 2 with the RTX 4090. The game runs beautifully as you would expect. With great performance. Alright, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys there.